talking about the guidelines and telling us not to cross the limit. You know, Allah constantly mentioned there is a limit set by Allah. Do you think we've crossed that limit? Sometimes we cross. If I cut too much tree and if the next year comes too much thunderstorm, do who are we blaming? Do you think we are there? Do you think we've crossed no, that we, limit? No, we, we, we have many, many problems, many problems. Even the scientists are agreeing that we are not behaving well. And Islam is, comes from a moderation. You know, it has a balance. It doesn't go any extreme. Allah said that you are the middle nation. Choose the middle path. Do not go either extreme. Even your worship, right? So yeah. you, we are not exaggerate. So even even on so much degree that our dieting law was moderate as well. Like for example, Prophet, peace be upon him, he, he used to eat one third full, one third water and one, one third empty. And that is an ideal diet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and like we, when you go to the toilet, we clean ourselves with water. And many of them, like many converts to Islam, revert to Islam, they actually said when they washed the bum with the water, their first time they feel like clean. Mm -hmm. This is their own testimony. I'm not making it. So, in, in the so Islam is a, is a total package. Absolutely. So it's not about talking about uh, the faith. You know, the Western understanding of, uh, from the Christian perspective of view, that, you know, you have a faith and you have a life separate. No, Islam is not like that. Islam actually is the code of life. It tells you how to eat, how to sleep, how to drink. You know, even when I drink it, I say Bismillah. Sure. You know, the reason why I said Bismillah, because we don't reflect about the water. Where does that water come from? So we say Bismillah, I mean, in the name of God, because the water I'm enjoying yeah. is not from me. I didn't yeah. create it. Yeah, yeah. I don't own it. Yeah. I didn't grow it. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, and I, and I appreciate that. And I, yeah. I, I so what's your, this. what's your uh, uh, take so far? Would you say Islam is something for you to accept it? It wouldn't. Because I'm not a woman of faith, and I don't, um, I was 100% respect yeah. your faith. Yeah, yeah. No question. No, no, no. I, but I respect that. But it is not something that is going to be my future. Mm -hmm. Because my belief and understanding, my relationship with our planet is situated in a, in a different way. But we share huge common ground mm -hmm. in that we, we respect moderation and balance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in order to salvage what we can for our planet we need to respect that moderation and balance but i think that we are going to struggle because the political and the eco economic infrastructure that we all exist within doesn't respect do you, that moderation do you, do you, and balance sorry, sorry. do you accept it could be a, an intelligent designer <coughs> on the, on the... so so basically the argument we go back so what do you think <coughs> what would be the third alternative option? Because if if something cannot come from nothing, and when, when I say define nothing, I would say nothing doesn't exist in the reality. It's a term, actually. Yeah, because like, I'm not a scientist, okay? No, no, I, I, I think... Details, no, but what I do understand is that energy cannot be created or destroyed. But it's in the closed lid. circular. Yeah, in the, in the closed lid. So therefore... Yeah. The energy comes into existence in one point because it's in the closed lid. Yes. So absolutely. therefore, what we are saying, it's still actually indicating who brought everything into absolutely. existence. Absolutely. So, and that is what thrills me, is mm. that uncertainty. I am not going to say, I'm going to I'm gonna jump in, in, I'm going to stand here and I'm going to say, this is what it is. I, I enjoy the uncertainty of it and I respect people who go, I decided Shall this, I, do, I decided Are that. you ready to do an exercise with me? Mm, maybe. That would be an intellectual. Okay. Okay. So intellectual. Let, let, yeah. Okay. Let's define this uncertainty. Okay. So we see this creation exists. Do you agree? Yes. Okay. So that thing we are saying, you are, you are not giving any name. Okay. That thing who brought everything into existence. Do you agree that being must have all knowledge. We must have all knowledge. No, that, that this being. Uh, I don't think there's a design. I think this. I, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. It's happenstance. No, 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 no. no. Perfect happenstance. No, 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 I think. I think if you say perfect, this is called a blind belief. Yeah. Yeah, because you know when anyone says something, either has evidence or compelling reason to believe, or either blind belief. So what I am presenting you to the Quranic discourse, Allah is asking a question. This argument was not made by me. 
the creator of the heavens and the earth. Hear me out the full argument. And you will see the, the veracity of this argument. And how strong, how intellectually stimulating for the mind of the people. Allah said, Am khuliqu min ghayri shay, am hum al khaliqu, am khalaqu samawati wal ardi, bal la yukinu. So were they created by nothing, or are they the creator of themselves? Or rather, who created the heavens and the earth, rather they are not certain. So let me tell you why it's so profound. It didn't just tell that about the natural phenomena that you will definitely conclude that that is a maker. It also tell us those who reject it, they will have no certainty. So it also talking about the state of our mind as well. So now going back to what you believe, what you believe now, how do you believe that? You know, because my belief I've, I've given you yeah, yeah. on that point. I, do, I am not shifted mm. in my belief, but, yeah. I, but I, I'm not here to negate mm. your belief mm. and I'm not here to be converted to your belief. Mm -hmm. I'm here because I love that we have free space to discuss it. I mean, that would be a question. Would you not be open-minded to see, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. I, I would be fair position would be, okay, if Islam makes sense rationally, and with compelling evidence, then I would accept it. That would be a fair approach. Would you say that? I 100% accept that your belief gives you nourishment and it, it gives you a frame for your life. And I, and I respect that and I don't negate it. I just think it's really fascinating for me to take on board other perspectives and to ponder it and to think on it. But ultimately, I don't feel like I need right. to have... Uh, I don't need to have a, an ideology to move me through my life. So, be, be, so, so, yeah, please do it. You see, um, uh, it is, this is a belief, but now if you go to all astronomers and astrophysicists, yeah, yeah. they're all uh, anonymously agnostic. They all believe there's a... Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Not necessarily. Yeah. Yeah. So I think let's, let's stick with the, the reasoning we, we are doing. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shall I tell you why? Because they all unanimous they say the universe comes from with uh, mathematical laws. The mathematical laws are not random. It comes with the, uh, the second law of the thermodynamic. So now questions, how, where that come from? Yeah, this I know, I know. So, 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 the, so, so, so the going back to question, then actually, when we look at this argument, it's indicating there must be something. And now we need to go back to the, if we look at the creation, and I want you to ponder upon this argument, right? Okay. So we look at the universe, it has demonstration of power. We see sun, we see moon, we see galaxies, we have millions of stars out there. It shows that in order to create all of those things, it requires powers. So the agent who created everything must have power. Do you agree? If the if there is an agent. No, but I said by default it leads there because you don't have another option. I, I have two options. So the two options here, the, the, the argument leads to there is something. Now, I cannot say that something is nothing. If I identify him, I cannot say he is nothing. Okay? He is something. He is something. Yeah, yeah. Now, when I bring the cap into here, it cannot come into existence by itself. It yeah. cannot come from nothing. Then the who is the who brings into the cap into yeah. existence? Me. Yeah. Because I bring you into existence. Yeah. Now, if you apply this method of thinking, now imagine I just cross the road with two of you and suddenly showed you a car and I said the car said car is from nothing would you believe me no, no, so now not true. correct Ex now if I may yeah please. the car didn't always exist that's exactly it so that's exactly my first point parts. that's exactly my first like point molecules and atoms. Exactly. so exactly my first so point also applies to the universe exactly. exactly so what we are saying the very simple thing you know like verb a doer an action when we see any action we see a doer in yeah, yeah. that's yeah. how we yeah. think yeah, yeah, now yeah. the creator in the quran addressing that keep the same standard when it comes to the thinking of the yeah, creator yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no. now if yeah. you if you think like normally like everything has a cause then the universe cannot come by itself 
other than a maker. This is the simplest one without complicating the theory. Now, in order to reject, we have to be irrational. Because if someone is rational, he must believe in him. Do you see what the, my point? So I am saying that what option would you not take? We have a rational belief and irrational belief. And then I, my rational belief does, didn't just end here. It come with compelling proofs and evidences. Like for example, the Quran. I don't know whether do you know about Quran? No. Quran. So the Quran. Yeah, so yeah. the Quran is the only book in the face of the planet which has been memorized by millions and has been preserved from from day one. Mm -hmm. And that is a sh sign that Creator didn't leave you alone without guiding you. Exactly, exactly. Look, look at the problem we are having in the society. Just we defining our own guidance, and we do not know our boundaries. That is a different conversation. We but, are talking. We've gone yeah, let's from go back to yeah. philosophy yeah. and creation. Let's, let, let's look, go back to it. So, I'm going to leave you now. Yeah. Because I, I love having this conversation. Stimulating and I conversation. Love yeah. That there is this space for us to Absolutely. connect as people and yeah. have this conversation because it's lacking but in the world, right? You, but I, I am not. I don't want to. I'm not here to argue you down on your beliefs but also i'm not here no, I, I, for you to, I, I think is to you know to convince me out I, of my I, I tell you why i tell you why i slightly disagree with respect okay i have complete total respect for you brothers and sisters what i would say that there are truth and false not everything is truth and not everything is false we need to identify what is true and false either this road exists or it doesn't we cannot have an answer in middle. It's true. Right. It's true. Now, truth can be bitter. Yeah. Truth can, can make you discipline. But because of discipline, I cannot deny the truth. That's my stance. Now, objectively, if you cannot deny this argument, I do not know, cannot be applied. You know why? Because if you say, I do not know where I'm going, then you do not go anywhere. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Or you discover somewhere new. You've discovered someone new along the way. No, yeah, but yeah. that's 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 only a blind belief. Do you know why? Because you are supposing that you would happen. How do you know that happened? Oh do you God. see? That's a stimulating spiral and spiral. No, no, the, the simple thing is very simple. I exist, creator exists. Simple thing is look at the face, color, tree, beauty. So, the reason why we don't see God, but we see the sign of God. So, if you look at all this creation, then just look at about ourselves, about the things that we receive in our daily life, free, oxygen, water, heartbeat, all of the things that we are enjoying free. Did we show gratitude? Just imagine, think about, did you give any gift to her birthday? Did you give any? Of course. Right. And what did, he, what did she say? Thank you. At least minimum, right? And I'm 100% sure you've done it. Minimum. 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 Now just think about the creator who gives you this eyesight. Mm -hmm. If I give you five million pounds for in exchange of your two eyes. No. Now, <laughs> no, no, uh, no, no, not even. No, not no, even now, no, no. her own He's admission. Seen his eyes. Yeah, now, <laughs> that shows your body, even your eyes is priceless. You cannot put a tag for your eye. Now, just think about the one who given you free. Wanted, okay, I have given you enough. Now I'm going to take back the eye. Yeah. Yeah. You shouldn't complain then. Did you see? Now, what do you need to do? At least say thank you. How to do? That's why God sent prophet and messenger to show gratitude. Because imagine I give you something and you don't say thank you to me. I would feel, you know, neglected, right? I'm grateful every no, but, day. No, but grateful towards who? You know, like if you get, no, we're grateful to someone else. No, so I, I'm saying no. Like, imagine, let me let me demonstrate to you. My brother, 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 my sister, given me five thousand pounds, and I start thinking, thank you, not you. Is that fair? Is that fair? It's not fair. It depends because, on my, no, it you know what? Let me let me tell you how no, why it's it, not fair. It depends on my expectations. No, but then again, you. then again, when we are talking about our daily life, how we act, suddenly we change our. When a human being helped me, I said thank you. But when I receiving the the help yeah. that human yeah. being cannot provide beyond the necessity of our understanding, yeah. Yeah. then I de-recognize and not worship or not showing 
gratitude. Do you actually feel that you are a good person on that? No, I understand. I do. I do feel I'm a good person. No, I'm, I'm, because I feel yeah. no, 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 I'm, uh, I'm, I'm talking about an argument, argument okay. point of view. So what we are saying is true gratitude would be on the right direction. Imagine I take in from you, I should show you some gratitude. So the Allah, the creator, he's saying, if you don't worship him, it will not belittle him or not increase him in his status. But you will put yourself on a shoes of ungratefulness. So are you, are you saying that only the followers of Allah are No, 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 no. First of all, we have two layer of gratitude. One with the gratitude towards human being and gratitude towards our creator. So there are degrees and rights to different people. For example, what the creator writes is to show gratitude. Creator doesn't need money. With your human being, they deserve your love, respect and good behavior. Right. So we have you know like uh, levels, vertical so vertical and yeah, yeah. horizontal yeah, yeah. so yeah. if you keep the vertical with people around you but if you don't do the horizontal one which is with God then you actually half good yeah, okay. but when you do yeah. both of them you're totally good yeah, yeah. and that is the totality of the salvation because yeah. Allah saying that what happened to you do you not see when you receive all those things where is the gratitude? Yeah, yeah, for sure. You see. And so, to bring it back to, the, to yeah. where I was talking earlier about the, the climate change yeah, yeah. and the emergency and but, how we are going to be facing, that, like our children, our children's children are going to be facing a very, very, very unpleasant future. Mm. Do you feel that that is showing disgratitude to Allah? Yes. So, no, no, look, like I, I mentioned, that Allah said in the Quran, he established a principle that he given you everything in balance everything in shape yeah, yeah. and he is telling you not to not to break the balance means do not exaggerate do not you waste it even our food will you sure. say yes so you doesn't you... like the excess Ex yeah. like people who waste so, because it will affect so yeah. on, 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 on I've, I've that, on that on premises, in terms of the, the, the massive weight that the Islam faith has across the planet, yeah. what do you think you can do like, as a, as a faith-based community right the way across the planet? What can you so, do to help so, us? Solve so basically, the basically, very simple. The divine guidance is to serve everything. First, number one, point number one, am I serving my own maker? Imagine if you die, your world is over. Doesn't matter how many millions of people in there left in the world. Allah is telling about, I know how I made it. Do you know how I made it? Allah is asking the question. But what, what is the, within your faith, what, what, what can you do constructively to help right, offset? Okay. What yeah, yeah, yeah. Move? No. I, yeah, yeah. I think Please. what the brother is saying is that yeah. Number one, primarily, you need to look after numero uno. Yeah. As believers in a creator, your own salvation. Yes. Where are okay. you? Where, okay. where are you going to go when you die? Yeah, yeah. Because with all due respect, in most cases, you can do all the good in the world. Yeah. But if you don't do, if you don't believe in certain concepts and do certain things ordained by a creator, then they are in vain. Okay. So it's about what you do for yourself. But is there Number a two. Aspect? Yeah, there are collective aspects. For example, like uh, we have something called zakat in Islam. Okay, give you one teaching. So my brother Idris, yeah, yeah Idris, it's like yeah, zakat. zakat. So what we take from rich, give it to the poor. Now imagine if all the rich people in the planet give 2.5 percent of their excessive wealth, 2.5 percent of their excessive income, income tax, then we give it to spread out to the poor. What will happen? It will eradicate the poverty. Now, what you can do is be, become a Muslim and start paying 2.5%. So then it will serve. True. Yeah? True. But then this, did, did I say wrongly? But, no. but on a serious note, there's a lack of equity in the world. Yeah. So if we look at the developed nations, 
to a certain extent, they became developed on the backs of others. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, yeah. those backs yeah, of yeah, others yeah. are still underdeveloped. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But they're being told to, to do a certain thing, to grow their economies in a certain way, which may hinder their development. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. because yeah. others yeah. grew on their back, yeah. Yeah. they lack the funds yeah. to develop in yeah. the correct way. Yeah. yeah. So, from an Islamic point of view, there has to be an element of equity and justice yeah. within and a rules-based system yeah. within the world. Yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Be it economic, economically, yeah. be it um, you know those who want to industrialize and how yeah. they're going to do that in an equitable way. I heard someone recently who was it? For the life they cannot remember. Last week, someone. Oh yeah, Gordon Brown. He was saying that OPEC should open a fund. And when we talk about OPEC, argument say at least a third of them are Muslim majority countries. Yeah? He said OPEC should open a fund to give, ironically, <laughs> two percent of their of their of their generated egg, income egg. on gas and oil revenues. Yes. Per annum. And that two percent should be reached re redistributed to the developing world to allow them to industrialize and develop, but in the correct way in yeah, relation yeah, yeah. to climate change. Okay? Yeah. So it's, it's, I don't know where you got this no, from. No, I, I, I think <laughs> I'll, I'll give you familiar. something more fascinating, more fascinating along with Brother Idris, what he mentioned. Islam promote this zakat system to make society balance, taking from rich, giving it to the poor. Another way, Islam is preventing some, some harm, economic harm. How? Islam telling, the riba, the interest is haram, means forbidden, right? Why? It's making poor poorer. Imagine you go to a payday loan IMF, shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. payday loan shop, get 2,000 pounds. They will give you 30% interest rate. By the time you pay the first repayment, the, 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 the capital amount goes high by 500 pounds. So you are already in, enslaved by the society. For sure. So now yeah, Islam yeah. cover both angles. One, Islam is giving you the prevention and protection of the wealth at the same time saying to the richer community that you need to give you a share that Allah has given you to balance the society. Now you cannot find this practicality of any, any religion like this. And look, the, the prescription, prescription was even given to Jesus Christ. Allah tells Jesus Christ to give zakat and this continue even Moses. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. These are the Islamic understanding. We just yeah, touched yeah. upon one thing. Yeah, yeah, Islam yeah. has, if you look at all the areas, Islamic finance, inheritance, distribution, name anything, you will find the best solution providing by the Islam. Do you know why? It first makes the protection for the weaker one, and then the distribution yeah, yeah. should be yeah, yeah. based on equality, based on the identification, and looking at the the totality of the picture, and gives you the solution. We, we, like from an Islamic point of view, we believe in a free market. Yeah. Okay. But it has to be equitable and just. Yeah. We can't tamper within the free market. So the government should not tamper in relation to subsidies, mm -hmm. you know, things like that, where it will imbalance the free market. Yeah. yeah. But at the yeah. same time, we're called, like Adam, as a believer, Adam was called, you've probably heard the term, caliph. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the meanings of caliph is almost like viceroy, meaning God placed mankind with our with our ability to communicate and to understand and to innovate, yeah, yeah, to, and to count and mathematics and all those lovely stuff. God has given us the faculties and the responsibility to not only improve our lives in a just way, but and at the same way caring for the earth itself, yeah. yeah? Caring for the animals and everything that it contains within itself. We should not take advantage mm. yeah, and pillage the earth. It's got to be done in a sustainable manner to benefit us, the future generations, and, the, and God's creatures themselves. I'll tell you one well, of the significant. Just, just, just so much to think I just about. wanted to give you one okay. example okay. before you think. In pre Islamic period, go. okay. yeah, just one okay. second, yeah. In pre Islamic period, they say, Okay. Thank, you so okay. so Thank you so look much. Look after yourself. We we give no. We, we, okay. we, due to respect, we don't shake the hand. But I appreciate, I appreciate your discourse. I but think you. about the. I really appreciate your discourse. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
very good. Alhamdulillah. May Allah guide them to Islam, inshallah. I mean, uh, he, uh, she, she's got, um, she's very, uh, it's about the environment. 